Run the simulation. Once it is successfully completed, go into the tab Simulate and click on View Scopes with Scope View. Two windows open. The Signals window is where you select the scopes to visualize. The scopes are organized by signal types. The different signal types are node voltage, branch voltage, branch current, switch current, control signal, flux, power, etc. For example, to visualize the waveforms from the voltage scope M1 in scope view, set the signal type option to node voltage and click once on each phase voltage. The signals appear in the selected signals table. By default, the waveforms are loaded manually by clicking on the play button at the top. An auto load option is available. The instantaneous phase to ground voltages are displayed. To display the voltage source currents, set the signal type option to voltage source current and select the available signals. To avoid having too many graphs on the same page, the waveforms can be loaded onto a new page. In the selected signals table, we can see the signals are added on page two. Our visualization window now has two pages. Let's do it one last time. This time we will display the currents of the current scope M2. In scope view, these can be found in the switch current section as current scopes are considered by EMTP as closed ideal switches. It is also possible to superimpose graphs together. This is very convenient for three phase signals. Click to select the first graph, then press Ctrl and select the others. The three graphs are selected. Click on the superimpose button at the top. Different cursors are available to see the waveform point values. The single cursor displays the value for one point. A two-point cursor is also available. Before using it, select a graph. Using this cursor, click on the two points at different locations. The cursor returns information between these two points. For example, the time difference, the value difference, the RMS value of the signal in between, etc. Thank you for watching this video. If you need more information or want to get informed when new content is released, please subscribe to our LinkedIn community and to our newsletter.